I'm Lance Wickless, the Senior Natural Resources Manager from Marine Corps Base Hawaii within the Environmental Division. The Hawaiian stilt is actually a subspecies of the, the mainland um, Hawaiian blackneck stilt. It's a tall, slender bird, black on top, white on the bottom, with long red legs and a really long beak. We estimate that we probably have roughly uh, 8 to 10 percent of the island's stilt population. The stilt is one of the um, several endangered water birds in the islands. So the steadies we need to actually, federal law requires us to actually manage and try to enhance or improve the population if possible. Um, UH is, of course, the ones, uh, their graduates and some undergraduates and postgraduates that are actually conducting a two-year uh, study to understand the biology and the phenology of the stilt, which is basically understanding their life cycle, their nesting, the breeding, and everything else associated with them. The, the military supports us um, with what we call our mud ops, which is a yearly two-day uh, evolution utilizing the combat assault company out of 3rd Marine, their AAVs, to help break up all the pickleweed mats. Uh, because that's what the stilt like to nest on. They want open mud flat or sandy areas to make their nest. And so the operations of their vehicles, it helps with the maintenance of them because they run better when they run a long time. It helps with the young guys. A lot of times we ask them to use their, um, the more junior um, AAV operator so they can get some stick time and run around. There isn't too much out here they can damage, but we sit up there with them. We help um, guide them around. They get experience with different conditions from sand to mud to water. So it actually is a good uh, training opportunity, but the whole thing is a benefit to the environment and our natural resources. So it's a win-win for both of us.